the resignation letters. Despite, despite the, the, the question marks on the legitimacy of the head of state, uh, he's the head of state now and should be solving the problems in his country. So that's, that's why we at the CPD are asking for his resignation. A, a leader who has the interest of the people... Why should he resign? If he has the interest of the Cameroonian people at mind, I think the best thing he can offer us right now is his resignation. He's not been able to resolve a minor crisis that has been transformed into a civil war. You will tell me also that it's not a civil war. It has been transformed into a civil war because of a, a leader's inability to manage a little crisis. I, we live in countries where uh, the German Chancellor, who's on a visit, hears that there is an incident in any part of Germany with a single casualty. She returns immediately because she is the crisis manager. But this is a crisis manager who has not been on the scene. He doesn't know the reality of his people. He has shown by all standards that he lacks what it takes to resolve the problem in Cameroon. He cannot resolve this problem. But Dr. So the that's we why we are working within the CPD. Our light motive is a regime change. That's what we want to see in Yaoundé. We don't belong to any political party. We have people from all political parties. But we are working for a regime change. I don't, we don't care who comes after Mr. Bia. But it could be as well someone from the CPDM. But we have lived... There should be a change. Yeah. But the question, uh, uh, some uh, members of the CPDM, some government members, um, other Cameroonians will ask you is, uh, should a leader, should a shepherd abandon his people in times of trouble or find solutions to the problem? Yeah, when you are unable to find adequate solutions, the next thing you do is to resign and give another person the opportunity to try to do better. That's also a quality of leadership. A leader should be able to know when they have reached their elastic limits. If Mr. Bia has exhausted everything he had as solutions, yet the crisis persists. We are still living in the crisis. So this is a clear indication you don't need to be the next Einstein to know that Mr. Bia hasn't got solutions to the Anglophone problem. Now you just evoked a, a bill on bilingualism. That's another provocation because that's exactly where the crisis started. And you're still bringing back the same French language into English courts. I fear for the future of this country. It could get worse. And so we have to rise up as Cameroonians and tell Mr. Bia, you know, you've touched the limit. You've touched the peak of your career. You cannot move any further. We need someone else to try to lead Cameroon to the dis is the chosen destination.